Welcome to British Biomedicine Institute. Today we will explore radionuclide imaging and radio diagnosis. A radionuclide scan is an imaging technique that uses a small dose of a radioactive chemical isotope called a tracer that can detect cancer, trauma, infection or other disorders. In a radionuclide scan, the tracer either is injected into a vein or swallowed. Once the tracer enters the body, it travels through the bloodstream to the organ being targeted, such as the thyroid, heart or bones. Different tracers tend to collect in different organs. The tracer emits gamma rays, which are similar to X-rays. These gamma rays are detected by a gamma camera and analyzed by a computer to form an image of the target organ. Image acquisition is by positioning the patient under a gamma camera or a PET scanner, depending on the radioisotope. The radiation emitted from the radioisotope in the patient is captured and analyzed to construct an image. Cells which are most active in the target tissue or organ will take up more of the radionuclide. So, active parts of the tissue will emit more gamma rays than less active or inactive parts. Sites of potential problems sent out more intense gamma rays and appear as bright spots on the scan. Types of radionuclide scans include PET scans, gallium scans and bone scans. A radionuclide scan is painless except for a mild skin prick if the tracer is injected. Once the tracer is given, it takes several hours for the isotope to travel to the target organ. Uncommon side effects from radionuclides may include flushing, racing heart and nausea but these are short-lived because they are flushed out of your system quickly. Gamma rays are similar to X-rays and are detected by a device called the gamma camera. The gamma rays which are emitted from inside the body are detected by the gamma camera are converted into an electrical signal and sent to a computer. The radiation dose to the patient is related to the activity of the administered tracer. Unlike in CT or fluoroscopy, the duration of image acquisition, volume scanned, and number of views obtained does not alter the patient's radiation burden. Thank you for showing interest in British Biomedicine Institute skilled nano degree program. Hope you have gained a lot of information through this presentation. Please share, like, and subscribe our unique medical channel. Good luck.